Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alita and I have a word to share with you guys today based on a dream that I had on January 22nd, 2020. Um, but before I get into the dream, before I share the word with you guys, I do want to do the disclaimer. Um, this is such a beautiful dream guys and such an encouraging word. Um, but always remember to take every prophetic word before the Lord, guys. Um, it's so important that you have a good, strong, solid relationship with the Lord. This is the most important relationship you'll ever have. So put time and work into this one. If, you, if you're trying to prioritize relationships, this is the relationship to prioritize. Um, because God speaks to us. He speaks to every one of us. He can give any one of us a prophetic word and he can speak to you about your life and then he can speak to someone else about your life and so that they can confirm what God is saying to you. So it's so important that you have that confirmation always. And um, this actually, the word today could actually be a confirmation for some of you. That is so awesome. Congratulations. Well done on sticking to a solid relationship with the Lord because he loves you and he's always seeking to be in relationship with us. So let's get into the dream, guys. Like I said, I had it on the 22nd. So um, in this dream, I was on the freeway. I was driving my car and I was in the fast lane. I was moving fast because I was in the fast lane but I needed to go faster. There was like this, it was like I needed to just move quicker and I had a hindrance. I had a car in front of me and I had a car on my left. So um, I'm not sure how it works in various countries, but from my own experience driving in the country that I learned how to drive, um, the fast lane would be to your far right so you can only have a, another car next to you on your left because there's no other lane on your right so there was a car on my left and there was a car in front of me and this situation was so frustrating for me in the dream and i remember just thinking i need to go i need to go i need to get past these cars and then all of a sudden an opportunity came and i took it without hesitation and slid right through like kind of like just went right between them and back onto the fast lane and i just flew from there i just oof, they just saw my dust you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um that was the dream um, like I said, a very encouraging dream, right? And this reminds me um, of two dreams that I had previously and the words are related. So I will try and remember to link those videos here because it's related. Um, those two dreams had to do with me driving a car. In the first one, um, I was driving in like this dry, barren, like wasteland type of place. And immediately as I accelerated, my car went even faster than the amount of pressure that I was putting on the accelerator. So it's almost as if something else took over the car, someone else. And the car went shooting straight up into the sky and, you know, touching like literally I was about to touch the clouds if not I was able to touch them so it's almost like the sky was the limit the message there was about the sky being the limit and then there was the other dream that I had where I was moving at great speeds on a freeway and um, I was overtaking all the cars and going around the bend and into some tunnels so those dreams um, the messages in those dreams relate to the word today you have been feeling stuck, hopeless. You can't see a way out. Like the situation that you are in right now feels completely impossible. And that was the part in the dream where I was just stuck between these two cars, knowing that I needed to get to where I needed to get to there was an urgency and a lot of you have been feeling that you on edge you're you're questioning like god 
what am I supposed to do now? I need to get out of here. Get me out of this place that I'm in. Get me out of this kind of stuck place. Only you can make that happen, God. I literally cannot do this. I need you to move. I need you to open the doors. And you've even like become hopeless. You have been like in despair because of feeling stuck, feeling like God is not making the way um, possible for you right now. But um, at the same time, even though you feel stuck, even though you feel hopeless, there is that part of you that knows the truth that all things are possible through God. It's just that your mind has been playing tricks on you or rather the devil has been in your ear telling you lies. That even this thing that you're hoping for, even this um, release, this place that you're going to, your next is too impossible for God. Like he's been telling you things like, come on, be realistic. How, how can God actually do this? And sometimes you almost like just want to settle into that, almost want to say, yeah, let me just be logical about this. But there's a part of you that's just so strong that knows that all things are possible through God. And then there's some of you who just have absolutely no doubt in your mind, right, that God will do what he said. But you're so numb you're all cried out. Your tears, my friend, your tears have not fallen for nothing. Every single one has watered a seed. And you are about to reap that harvest. You are about to experience life like never before. You are about to soar. You are about to accelerate into your next. You are about to see the floodgates of heaven opening up before you. No more feeling stuck, says the Lord. You are ready to fly, to be and do all that he created you for. This word is really a word of encouragement to say that God sees you. He hears your cries. He knows your pain. And he's getting you out of that situation. He's going to make a way. And I know that so many of you that this word is for are going to grab that opportunity when God presents it to just get unstuck. And that could literally be God calling you into, um, into a time of intimacy. It could be God calling you into a time of fasting so you can be more intimate with him. It could be whatever it is that God wants it to be that he knows that you need right now for you to be able to flourish, for you to be able to just fly ahead and accelerate into your next. In the dream, you know, I found that gap and that, that was really miraculous. It, it, it happened so fast. It wasn't like I saw the one car kind of slow down, the one on my left, and um, then I found my gap. It was an impossible gap to kind of move through but I moved through it so this is going to be a miracle God is going to perform a miracle he will make a way for you to become unstuck and it will happen in an instant in no time you will be accelerating forward into your next in no time it is guaranteed no one and nothing can take this away from you God is doing it believe it some of you God is saying to you remember what I have done for you in the past the miracles you never thought could be I am doing it again Psalm 126 is a very beautiful psalm and I believe the Lord wanted me to read this over you today before I end this word 
and it reads as follows and i just encourage you to really allow the words to minister to you to soak into your heart to be something that you can hold on to as you seek god for that gap for that miracle that will push you into your next when the lord restored the fortunes of zion we were like those who dreamed our mouths were filled with laughter our tongues with songs of joy then it was said among the nations the lord has done great things for them the lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy that part of the psalm verse 1 2 and 3 is what i just read and i believe god is saying the miracles that i've done in the past remember that remember when i restored your fortunes remember when i filled your mouth with laughter and your tongue with songs of joy because i'm doing it again you have been crying for long enough you have been hurting for long enough you've been in isolation for long enough it's time to move on restore our fortunes lord like streams in the negev those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy those who go out weeping carrying seed to sow will return with songs of joy carrying sheaves with them father i thank you for this beautiful passage of scripture for the word today that whoever it is meant for father that it will settle on their hearts that it may be like a healing balm as they come out of that dry painful season they've been in i pray lord that you would hold your child close to you and let them rest on your bosom as they feel your love thank you that you are a good father and that you are doing it again you are performing miracles in their lives again and this time they'll be even bigger than before because only you god can do what needs to be done for them to be unstuck i thank you lord in jesus name i pray Amen. Friends, I pray that this has blessed you. I will catch you in the next one. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friend, are so deeply special to him.